There is a, uh, a video on how I would go about drawing a more complex cylindrical form. In this particular case, a wine bottle. Um, this is uh, this is my f yeah, mostly finished. I'm sure I'll do something with the label here, but. Um, this is the idea of what we're going to be going for. I'm probably going to do a smaller, a little bit smaller version. It barely fits on frame, but um, I'm going to break break the video, the, the tutorials up into a couple of different sections. We're going to start um, just with uh, laying in a yeah, sort of the some guides and the main main construction. And talk a little bit about proportions and and how to um, try to manage those without getting too crazy analytic, which can be kind of tricky sometimes. Um, so let's get started with the wine bottle. I am going to take this down. Get some fresh paper. Let me readjust a little bit here. Okay, let's see what happens here. <laughs> the um, when looking at wine bottles, there's obviously all sorts of different wine bottles couple different ones we've been looking at are these three and one of the things that can be sort of tricky about trying to draw accurately is understanding the uh, proportions of what's called the notional space or, or bounding box that would encapsulate for, for really any object you're trying to draw uh, some point at the top, some point at the farthest right, some point at the farthest bottom, and some point at the farthest left. Each of these bottles, as you can tell, is a little bit different. And there is a, um, there's a method that you can use. There's a couple different methods. Um, you can use to try to help you um, figure out the basic overall dimensions of any particular bottle or any particular uh, object you're drawing. Um, but it's kind of an involved process and without making this too um, mathematical, I'm going to I'm Go over the basics, um, and then and do sort of a simplified version of it, just to kind of make the math easy. I'm gonna. Um, what I'm gonna um, say is, we talk about trying to figure out how many squares. After I've identified my top, right, bottom, and left points of anything and I've sketched in a box bounding rectangle that includes those points I try to figure out how many squares would fit inside that rectangle For example, I know that the, uh, the width of this bounding box is this wide. So if I want to figure out how many squares, I would want to figure out where this, the first square would be. 
by using my pencil and measuring and take, making these marks. Here, I'm gonna do it over here. That was a little odd trying to draw on there. So if that's one square, the second square would be roughly here. The third square be roughly here. And I, I say squares because I feel like they're less intimidating than um, the, the term proportion and, and a lot of a lot of books will talk about, uh, you know, just uh, just determine the width, the height, and take it from there. It's easy. Um, I have never found this to be that easy. So, in thinking about it for me, I try to just sort of think, it has simplified it for me to think, well, let's see how many squares I can fit in there. Because I know I can figure out how to draw a square by using my pencil like this and measuring the same side. And... What you can see for this fourth square is that it actually is up here and is taller than this particular bottle. So the proportions of this bottle, when I think about being able to fit one square, two square, three square, almost four squares, you could say that, that it is um, one to 3.8 or you know a four a little less than four um i don't even know if that's the right version but hopefully this um already gets you bored out of but thinking of math i'll do i'll do more on that and try to explain it in depth because it's very helpful to be able to do but for this particular project, I'm going to just assume a couple of different things. I'm going to assume that the proportions of our wine bottle is going to be one to four. That's going to make it nice and um, easy to at least get get started with some an overall construction without too much crazy math stuff going on. So what we talked about is at the beginning, are you on camera? Are you in frame? Um, I'm going to bring that down just a touch in case not. We know that um, our bottle is going to be in the proportions of one to four. Another way of saying that is that it's going to be four squares high. So what I want to do is decide on this piece of paper how tall I would like this wine bottle to be. So if this indicates the height, the top of, of the bottle, and this indicates the bottom. That is a great place to start, and I get to sort of choose that depending on how big I want to draw it, how big of a piece of paper I have, um, and, and then I'm going to adjust this one to four ratio proportions into this height. I could I could have done it at a smaller height and figured it out. Um, I could do it someplace in the middle, but um, the point is to be able to choose the overall height and then work the proportions into that. Um, because it's a, a cylinder, 
pretty much uh, the most important. That's uh, I don't say that lightly. The the center axis aspect of drawing anything cylindrical. I find just really critical. So I've, I've indicated here where the center of my wine bottle will be. I've indicated the top and the bottom. I know that this, I want to split this up into uh, four squares. So there's a couple different ways to do that. The easiest and quickest is to just think for a moment and say to myself, well, if I split it in uh, half and then half again, that will be four equal sections. And then I'll be able to um, create four squares from there. Every time I say four square, I feel like I'm thinking about a playground game. So first I'm going to try to, I'm going to split this in half. That was my guess. I was a little off. I'm going to say that's okay for now. Let's split that in half again. See how close I was there. This is a pretty unclear line, but um, I sort of go back and forth between being too worried about being exact versus just getting a, a loose idea and going from general to specific and trying to enjoy the process more than agonizing about exact. Um, you'll have to find your own your own balance. That's kind of a personal thing. Um, so there is a uh, the height of my wine bottle that I'm going to create the outline and construction and basic guidelines and the skeleton, if you will. And I know that uh, it's going to be four squares. What I don't know, I actually do know it, but um, I'm going to have to figure out how to indicate it on my little scale here, just how wide this is going to be. Um, this is the height of the square. So that will be the width of the square. I'm going to do a couple of things. I'm going to sort of just do some real quick, real quick guesses. I want to split this distance midway. Um, there's a couple different ways I feel like I've been doing it, but um, mostly I've been just starting to say, I, I can draw a square, I, or I can, I can, I'm going to sketch these guys in, sketch this in so it seems like a square. Equal, equal, um, Half, half of the square on each side of the, my center axis. And let me test that. 